So here's my Akai tape deck and my Akai receiver and some of my tapes collections I have and today this tape deck is just one amazing player model GX M50 stereo cassette deck so the story of this uh, vintage Akai tape deck somebody's throwing this away and I passed by I was driving and I saw it sitting on where you know put all the garbage stuff and the garbage truck passed by and pick it up and you know uh, destroyed it so one morning guys I was passing by that street and I saw this Akai tape deck and it caught my attention that it's still looking nice and I was thinking there may be something wrong with it or it's not working anymore that's why they're throwing it away and I have no clue but uh, I was just thinking maybe the owner don't want to deal with it anymore and you know they they just want to let it go or just throw it away then i'm just surprised they never put us a, a sign like free you know um like a band paper and write it you know down like that word free but uh could be some um one of you know one of the families that you know just eh, let, let it go i don't want to throw it away you know some owners of the house guys they're cleaning and they do they want to throw a lot of stuff and they don't want to deal with anymore with stuff like this so i picked it up and then took it home and test it out and guys here it is still working okay I just need some cleaning but still working and this piece is amazing guys because what I love about this Akai player right here when it's running you can click rewind and forward And you don't have to press stop and then rewind okay so that's another thing that I really like about this Akai um, GX M50 because you can press play while it's running you can rewind or fast forward at the same time you don't have to press stop anymore so it's amazing and um i said this thing is still working so i you know i was happy and you know i said this is vintage and you know it's akai it's japan made and i did not buy this guys i did not buy this so some owner is throwing it away i saw it out on the street on the corner where they pick up the garbage stuff and i picked it up right away put it in my trunk and took it home yeah so that's another uh, really nice Akai um, collections I have for free and over here guys this Akai AA 1010 receiver this one I bought it in eBay yeah so when I bought this I know Akai guys, they have different models and they have bigger than this one. And that's probably 300 to 400, you know, dollars. But uh, this 1010, yeah, Akai, it's not bad. I mean, it has a beautiful sound. And uh, 
I can test it out, put it on the radio. You guys can hear. You can hear. There you go. Jimmy Vaughn Trio with uh, live at Seaboys. You can't sit down and push comes to shove. John Hammond beginning things. In so it's awesome, guys. I mean, it has a good sound. And, you know, just to listen to radio. Yeah. And this is not a bad receiver from Akai. And I like it. Yeah. So, Akai, it's not, you know, like, popular, popular, like Sansui or Marantz, you know, Pioneer. Akai, it's kind of like a bit below than Techniques, because I think Techniques is much better than this. And Akai, it's not, you know, like, a lot of people are talking about Akai. Usually, guys, people collects stereos. They always want to talk about Sansui, Marantz, Pioneer, you know, techniques. JVC, I'm not sure. And Lafayette, it's known, but it's not really a, a people's topic, you know, all the time. But when people are saying or talking about Sansui, then everybody get excited. Marantz, everybody get excited, you know. Um, this uh, Luxman, um, people knows, but, you know, it's, it's not like a lot of people are talking about Luxman, you know. So people are usually talking about this two here, Marantz and Sansui, all the time. So they are popular. And over here, guys, I have my uh, tapes, my collections, and I have more somewhere. Um, these are U2 and Sting, Psychedelic First, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Cranberries, John Cicada, Foreigner, Simply Red, Alice in Chains, Tears for Fears, Metallic, and Alice in Chains. So. I bought this in the flea market, guys, and, you know, they're not easy to find nowadays. Yeah, this stuff here. You know what I mean? So, lucky me with my free Akai tape deck, GXM50 cassette deck. Got it for free, did not pay anything. So, I'm very happy. I'm happy with this uh, Akai. Yeah. So... I still have a Pioneer, uh, the modern uh, tape deck in the garage, and I use that from time to time, but it's digital. There's a little screen here, and it's digital, and it's not a bad tape deck, but I like this Akai better, yeah. So, um, over here, guys, you know, you, you guys seen this uh, Sansui, yeah. 2000x it sounds amazing i love the sound of this uh sansui here yeah and i got it for a good price when i bought this guys this uh, receiver um sorry amplifier doesn't come with the knobs all the knobs are gone and the, the guy told me some some of the kids pulling it out and playing with it and throw it away. So I don't know what happened there. So it was gone. So this these are not the original knobs as you can see the gap here. So I use this I use these knobs from my other uh, receiver. I took it out and use it for this Sansui. So I don't have to buy an eBay because they are like twenty five bucks each. Yeah. So. 25 25 50 you know uh 100 and 150 plus shipping so doesn't make sense so i use those knobs yeah 
it can't be I mean there's nothing wrong with it and um a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh collectors guys I mean I've seen it in YouTube that they have a lot of you know different brands and different uh, collections in their house and it's really amazing you know I mean all those vintage cereals that I've never seen before and it really amazed me a lot because you know I mean these people are fanatic really and they really have a lot of stuff you know and I used to I used to have a lot of stuff even modern stuff I buy and sell and vintage and then I you know resell it I sold it um, went to flea market and then I talked to whoever wants to buy like you know um, stereos uh, vintage and modern stereos you know um, for a good price and resell it so they can resell it too and i got my profit and you know i just want to get rid of a lot of stereos and a lot of modern stereos that i don't really need because it's not easy and let me tell you guys behind this uh, sansui setup here I have more stuff in there. I have Morantz there, a couple Morantz. I have Pioneer in there that I, you know, I stashed behind this um, stereo setup that I have here. And I don't know if you guys can see it here in, in, in you know, right somewhere there. I'm not sure. See if you guys can really like look at it. There's receivers and speakers in there and pile up and stuff there and they are pricey you know, vintage stereos so um, those are my collections and you know I will sell them one day once I I buy this uh, I once I get this uh, Sansui 8080 or 9090 DB then I'm going to start reselling those stuff so I can get my money back. Because the Sansui 8080 and 9090, they are expensive. They're like almost or more than a thousand dollars. The 9090 is more than a thousand. And uh, if you're lucky, you can get the 8080 for less than a thousand. So these are, we're talking about money here. You know, we're talking about money. I mean, but it scares me because if it breaks, then it's going to cost me a lot of money to fix that thing because. These are not, you know, these are not new guys. So they've been used for many, many years, you know, 20 years, 30 years or more, who knows? And you never know if it could break and, you know, it's a problem. So I'm not, you know, um, really, really 100% sure, like I want to buy it right away. You know, because kind of like it scares me because if something happened and then, you know, it's going to cost me money. So we will see. But I saw one in Facebook market from where, well, an hour away from where I live. And he was selling that Sansui 8080 for 300 bucks. And I messaged him and messaged him and he responded. And, you know, I got it kind of late. And then that was almost 11 p.m. So this guy probably is sleeping already. I don't know if he's, you know, an older guy or a younger guy. But I believe he's an older guy. And maybe he just want to get rid of it. You know, but for that price, guys, for that price, $300. Man, I feel like I want to I wanna cry when I did not get that Sansui 8080DB for that price. And then I message him, you know, I, I message him, I'm pay extra and I can meet you tomorrow uh, around four because I have to go to work. I cannot, you know, I, it's, you know, work is work. So, and then I message him and then he never messaged me back the following morning. 
because somebody probably messaged him uh, that night and he probably wanted to meet him either that night or the next morning and maybe the buyer offered him extra money like I did because I was going to pay him $500 for that Sansui 8080 DB because he was selling for 300 and then I'm going to give him an extra $200 just to, you know, to, to get that receiver so he can eat that bait because those are a thousand dollars that sansu is a thousand dollars so even though if i spend five hundred dollars then you know i still save five hundred dollars because ebay you buy it online a thousand dollars or more that 80 80 sansui and then the 90 90 it's like a thousand two thousand dollars so it's really expensive and the guy never responded me because he probably promised the guy already or he maybe bought it for 350 or 400 so first come first serves guys you know i mean that's how you know that's how the the facebook market goes and whoever comes first then they're lucky but i really i was pissed i was pissed guys i was really pissed like i feel like i want to like god man when you really want that sansui 8080 and you know and it's still like nice looking it wasn't beat up like, it wasn't like really old a little few scratches here and there and you know the wood cover maybe the edges has you know the crack or something but that's fixable you know i really really wanted that sansui 8080 guys so i have to accept it and let it go because it's not for me it's not for me so i you know i couldn't until up to this day guys i still think about that sansui 8080 for 300 dollars i mean that is a good deal and eventually you know if i resell it i can sell it for like nine ninety nine even eight fifty and I still make profit you know it just pisses me off but anyways better luck next time and if you know if I see a you know because this vintage receivers or stereos guys I mean it it's a cycle you know some people don't want it anymore. Some people want to sell it. Some people, they need money. Some people pass away. Some, you know, or maybe grandfather or uh, maybe the father or a collector or whoever, you know. And, you know, the family members, they don't, some of these guys, I mean, they're not into vintage. they into like into um, like this, like a Bose, you know. They into this easy easy to use, you know, it has Bluetooth. You connect your cell phone to the Bluetooth Bose. Easy that's it. They they the new generation want you know, they want the easy way and they want, you know, not too big and you know, like vintage guys. But me guys, I was you know, I was into vintage and I love vintage and you know, I was born with vintage stereos because my father has vintage stereos. Um, he has a turntable, a big one, like like this big, and it has a cover, and you have to lift it up. You have to lift it up, and the player is right there, and the vinyl records is, like, sitting inside there. So, I, you know, um, I got into the vintage stuff and lp records so that is why i grew up with it and you know i I love vintage and you know i just like it so um yeah so again guys i mean this akai gx m50 she liked this tape deck probably on ebay check it out you can have one of this and yeah you can 
you can own your own Akai GX M50 cassette deck. Yeah, yeah, cassette cassette deck. Okay, very very nice uh, vintage stereos from Akai, made in Japan. So guys. Another day, another video here, and some of my, uh, you know, receiver here, uh, the Luxman and Lafayette, and Sansui, yeah, little more Sansui right there, the G2000, and I have more stuff, guys, I have more stuff, they're all over the place. So guys, yeah, uh, just another video here and something to talk about vintage uh, tape deck. Because I'm, you know, I'm always filming like vinyl uh, record player, um, and uh, you know, um, LPs. Yeah. So today, guys, is different. I'm filming uh, Akai. Yeah. GX M50 uh, tape deck, yeah. So guys, uh, if, if you're new, you know you got into vintage, you know stereos, and if you're watching this videos and my other videos, yeah, click the subscribers, and uh, click all. So every time I have a new video and uh, it will go straight to your YouTube channel if you have one and you'll see different videos yeah so guys thanks a lot and I will see you again next time for now I'll say bye bye